You guys already know what time it is. It's three in the morning and welcome back to episode two of the Project Nightmare build series. Now, if you guys haven't been following along, if you didn't see episode one, the whole point, the whole purpose of this build series is to pretty much remove the engine from an old New Edge Mustang GT, take it apart piece by piece, build it back up and then eventually supercharge it. But before we can do any of that, we're gonna have to remove the transmission. So if you guys have ever wondered how to remove the transmission on a 2001 to 2004 Mustang GT, well then uh, you guys might want to make yourself cozy because uh, this video is just for you. Pulling up to the barn where the magic happens. First thing we have to do is actually uh, jack up the car right here. So you can see uh, Zach is doing an excellent job at that. So Mike, how, how uh, are we going to remove this transmission here, man? Just give us a quick run through. So first, we're going to pop the drive shaft out back here. First, we got to remove the drive shaft, right? Yep. Drive shaft. <laughs> I think it said drive shaft. Get all the top bolts out besides these bottom bolts here. All right. And then we're going to undo the cross member, get the jack under here too. All right. And then let the jack support the weight. And take the lower bolts out. We're also going to pull the starter to do that too. And oh, I may, may have to pull this header. To pull that starter. Okay, so you got to remove one of the headers to take the starter out. Yep. To then be able to take the transmission out. Yep. All right, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is that you have to disconnect uh, the shifter linkage before you can actually take the transmission off. So that's what's going on right now. This is new shift knob on when we're done. Oh, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, and it's over again. I'll get all the bolts back in there eventually. Some of you. So what we get high, so what we smoke weed, we're just fucking black girls, yeah that's all we need. <laughs> you look like a Russian prisoner of war. All right, guys, uh, remember how I told you that Mike volunteers at the local children's hospital? If you guys don't believe me, this is actually his ID. It looks like an Iraqi prisoner of war, but you can't blame him, man. He does good work. It looks like his neighbors All right, guys, so uh, as you can see, this is the entire dry shaft. There really isn't much room down there to film. I'm really sorry. I wanted to film the whole thing, but we're going to run it through you guys. We're going to try to be as detailed as possible in case you guys want to know exactly how we did this this is the drive shaft that was in there all right so just to recap uh, you're pretty much gonna have to take off everything that's attached to your shifter you're gonna want to free it up like you guys see right there and then once you do that you're gonna slide under the car and you're gonna start hitting up the drive shaft this end right here actually goes towards the engine and this end right here goes up towards the back uh, at the differential and now Zach here is gonna pretty much explain how you remove the drive shaft out. So th there were um, four 12.12 12 millimeter bolts in here and how it was angled like so. It had two, two bolts free and then once those two bolts were out, I had to disengage the e-brake, rotate the back tires so it would spin freely, spin at 180 degrees, engage the e-brake again and then remove those two and then you would shift it forward just a hair it drops the back end and then this just slides straight out
The reason we removed the X pipe is because it actually kind of uh, interferes with part uh, with this bracket that holds up the transmission. It won't let it won't let us fully take it out. So we actually had to take out the X pipe as well. All right, guys. Now another step that needs to be done before we actually remove the transmission is uh, the starter needs to be removed as well. That's what Zach is doing right now. He's actually getting rid. He's actually trying to remove the starter as we speak. So once that gets done, we'll get to the actual transmission removal part. All right, guys, so it's uh, an entirely different day. It's really nice and sunny outside. Perfect time to pull a transmission and end to uh, part two of this video. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for part three because it's already uh, kind of in the works. I just don't wanna ruin too much of it. Stay tuned for that one. It's gonna be one hell of a video. Oh my God, there's a dust storm coming in. Holy crap. Um, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna pull the transmission out. They're gonna pull the transmission out and we're finally gonna end this. Here we go. This thing is fucked up. Alright, alright, alright. Zach, pick up the last end. Alright. Rock it back and forth like that right there, boy. Keep rocking, keep rocking. Boom. Oh shit, it's out. Oh. It is out. Nice. And <laughs> that's going to be it for today's video, guys. It's been a long night and a long day. Transmission's out. Part three is going to be removing the engine. So, like I said, stay tuned. Catch you guys on the next one.